Hello everybody, my name is Jerron. And I'm Sam. And today we're here to react to Jenny of Blackpink and her solo song is called Solo. And um, this is definitely going to be interesting. I just want to jump right in. Mm -hmm. Okay. I feel like she served all the way through. Mm -hmm. She she definitely has the potential to be a soul artist and I feel like she definitely showed it in this song just with her confidence and she's very charismatic and like her rap was amazing. I her outfit she looked beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. They really really did her good with these outfits that they gave her like wow like i was really really impressed i thought the scenery was really nice it was shot really well i do think my favorite scene would probably have to, probably had to be her with all the female dancers like that was such that was such a powerful scene mm -hmm. and like oh my god i just i just i loved it like this music video was just super pretty as well i think um Jenny, my favorite thing about this is all the looks that she served was really so powerful and I would probably have to agree with Sam. My favorite part is the part, the last course where she's um, dancing um, and all those dancers are surrounded her. Mm -hmm. um, but if we're being honest, I wasn't that big of a fan of this. I think what my problem is with a lot of Blackpink's music is that, well, for one, Teddy's producing it. Teddy, I just feel like there's just this certain sound with Blackpink sometimes where it just sounds slightly dated to me. And I just feel like it leaves, it doesn't leave room for a song to age well for me. And there, and there's a lot of 
Blackpink songs that's like that for me. And then there's also some Blackpink songs that I absolutely fucking love. So it's usually just a lot of hit or miss with me and Blackpink. And I said the same thing about with Twice. I think this song, like, it just sounds like, it just sounds so 2012, 2013, like, around that area. And I'm not trying to come up as, like, a hater or anything, because Jenny's like, my number two in Blackpink, and I, I'm going to, like, I'm curious to see how all the solos are going to sound. So we're going to try to react to all four. Know that... And it's not even Jenny's fault. It's more so a production problem that I have with it. It's more so with YG, and I just feel like YG never really allows Blackpink to experiment with other producers because all he uses is Teddy. And so that's why I feel like a lot of YG artists have this similar dated sound to me. So if that makes sense. And I also want to point out that, like, yes, whereas we do praise songs that are doing a more of a throwback sound, there is a wrong and a right way to do it. So I think that's where Jerome's coming from on yeah. his point. Yeah, I don't yeah. want you guys to think like, oh, well, you praised this song like a couple times before. I that. like Blackpink. Yeah. I think they are talented. Do not see this as hate. Jenny's my number two. I don't know how many times I gotta say that. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's it. And yeah, it's just, there's just a right and wrong way and certain ways you mm -hmm. do a throwback sound. And I don't think. I don't think Teddy was trying to make a throwback sound. I think mm -hmm. this is just his signature sound that he has on all, most of his music. And so yeah. Yeah, and like Dron said, we don't want to come off as hateful or anything, but it's just like, I feel like YG, you know, being around for this long and trying to lab almost kind of label his company as like worldwide, it's like, and to only really work with like that same producer every single time. It's just kind of like, come on, like, can you, can you like open it up just a little bit to like work with other people? I feel like I always just see Teddy. Teddy, 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 Teddy. 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 And it's just, Teddy. And it's been Teddy just for years now. So for 21, like, Big Bang, yeah, like all of them. Like I get it, but it's just like if he, as long as he just keeps, from what I've seen, as long as he keeps staying in the same mindset, the same sound, I just, I don't know. I don't, I don't really know what's gonna happen, so. And I'm really getting scared because Lisa's my bias. And I, I'm really scared about her solo because I don't want another Patrick, no star, no Patrick, or whatever that line was in the Japanese version. Overall, I just feel like, you know, let's hope for the rest of the next three solos. Let's hope for a little bit of experimentation with other producers, or maybe Teddy can have somebody else help him. That's all I can hope for, honestly. I have to say is, like, I did like it, though. I did like the mm -hmm. song, so... Um, I'll definitely give it more listens to see how it grows over time and uh, we'll see how the other member solos turn out. I I hope they get something good. I know. <laughs> Especially for Rosé. <laughs> we'll see. But yes guys, um, let us know down below what did you think of Jenny's solo song. Mm -hmm. And um, don't forget to follow us on our social media. Instagram and Twitter will be in the description down below. And also don't forget to hit the notification bell button. Um, to know when we're coming. Mm -hmm. So I guess with that being said, that being said, we'll see you guys next time. Bye.